this is my direction of where I'm going to go. Show me. Show me. You know, direct me in a place where where I can get out of this mess. And it wasn't more of like the drugs. Or I was very um, uh, codependent and very and had a very addictive personality. And so I searched, you know, for fulfillment and happiness in, um, you know, in, through my eating disorder, through control, through other things, because I didn't have a higher power or anything to have a faith or a love or or anything to, you know, help me and guide me through my life, you know. And so I, I partied a lot, you know. I drank a lot. I did a lot of drugs in my life. And unfortunately, it led me down a road where I no longer recognized who I was anymore. When I grew up, I grew up a Jehovah's Witness. And so, you know, growing up um, into a, a religion in a God that I didn't understand, nor did I feel attached to, you know, you know to the religion, I... I pretty much, you know, grew a hatred towards that God, or at least what I thought, you know, was, you know, that God was that was supposed to guide me and be there for me, um, wasn't. And so I very easily blame, you know, that God for everything that went wrong in my life. And because, um, you know, everything did go wrong, it was an excuse for me to, you know, you know, live my life to like the fullest in all the wrong places. I got to a place where, you know, the person who I was dating at the time was a former or, you know, was Muslim, but wasn't a practicing Muslim. And I remember when he would talk about, you know, the Quran and Allah. And there was one thing that, you know, he was, you know, he had issues just like I had issues. And he would talk about Allah in a, in a way with so much love that no matter what went wrong in his life and all the wrong things and sins and things that, you know, we both did at the time, um, he still had that love for Allah that I wanted. Um, I realized that I was sunk down into a place where I no, I no longer recognized who I was. And I, at that, I remember at that point, I, you know, I got down, you know, on my knees, not realizing this was sujood position. I, I, I did not know that getting down on my knees put my forehead on the floor. And I asked Allah and I asked, and I said, Allah, if you, you are the true God. If you are the savior of, of, of me and are going to guide me, if this is my direction of where I'm going to go, show me. Show me. You know, direct me in a place where, where I can get out of this mess. And it wasn't more of like the drugs or, or where I was in my life. It was the emptiness, the hole in my heart that nothing could fulfill it. And it took to a place where I realized when I was on the floor and I was crying and I was sobbing, sobbing because I was so, I was desperate for change. I was desperate for love. I was desperate to connect with others because that's how hard my heart was. It was hard. Nothing to penetrate and not even my daughter. And for me to go down to that position and, and ask Allah, just take a chance, you know? I mean, what, what was, it wasn't going to hurt me. At that point, I had lost everything. And I put my hands in the air and I said, please help get me out of this situation. If you are the true God, show me. And I could do not two weeks later. I don't know how it happened. I was in a treatment center. My bills were paid. I was moved out. And... I realized that being in this treatment center, Allah had answered my prayer. And that's when I realized, you know, He is the true God. He is the only God. And that's when I felt that that perfectly, at that moment, is when I wanted to do my declaration to Allah and do my shahada. My intention, it, it was just natural. It was, it was perfect. It was, you know... When it dawned on me, it's only the beginning, honestly. It's only the beginning. And I, it's already been blessful, blessful. I think more than anything, it has been the ability to have peace and ease and calm in my heart. It's being able to love all these things that people take for granted because we live in a world where we need to 
a fast life. You need to run and you need to achieve things in order to be happy. And it's like the complete opposite. It was like a facade. When I when I revered it over, it was like, oh my gosh, my true, real happiness. I have nothing now. Before I had everything and I have nothing now. And I'm the happiest, most content, most happiest person in the world. I am because I have a lot in my life. And nothing, 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 and no one can take that away from me. Nothing. And that's what... And I just can't explain it in words. You know? SubhanAllah. SubhanAllah. You know? I can't get any greater than that. <laughs> I really can't. SubhanAllah.